Hi there, this is Daniel back again with another YouTube video and uh, this time it's gonna be a comic book uh, haul video uh, all the single issues I picked up through the month of November and yeah, I know it's a bit late almost halfway through December now but uh, better late than never and one of the reasons I do these haul videos each month instead of weekly is because I pick up so few single issues and um, I try to limit myself to about 10 issues each month uh, 10 or 15 and um, so far it's worked out but um, I might have trouble in the future <laughs> um, but I do like uh, reading these books most of them at least and uh, some of them might end up on the shopping block later on. Uh, but first off we have uh, a book called Trinity, issue 3 by Francis Manipal and uh, Clayman. Clayman uh, jumps in here in this issue to do the artwork uh, where Francis Manipal did the artwork in the previous two ones. And this one is a Batman centered story. And I really, really, really like this one. And I can't wait to get to issue five and four with uh, more Wonder Woman centered stories. I also picked up Briggs Land issue three. And this one concludes the first mini arc, so to say. And it's written by Brian Wood and Mac Chater. Chater. <laughs> I don't know really how to pronounce his name, but. Um, this is a really interesting story, but I'm unsure if I'm gonna still pick it up in singles or if I'm uh, dropping it to pick it up later in uh, trade paperbacks. Hadron's Wall, issue 3 out of 8. Um, this one, in this issue, we follow Simon as he finds a key piece of evidence and we are left to wonder if uh, someone put it there for him to find or if uh, the murderer who lives in that cabin might actually have hidden it there. So we are left to wonder if uh, the place where he finds it is connected to the murder itself or not. Uh, difficult to explain without spoiling it but I really do like this uh, murder mystery or locked room murder mystery uh, it's set on a survey space ship so uh, it's something for me. <laughs> I really do like this story uh, and I believe that they are releasing a tray paperback for this entire run uh, later on when it's concluded. The Hunt issue 4 and um, Rachel here uh, is basically this uh, magic wielder. She uses magic and spells to fight a demonic uh, soul-eating um, soul uh, creature called Slow. And they have this army of soul harvesters called the Changelings and they kidnap her kid brother and in this issue we see what happened to him it's a very cool issue and i like the series a lot so far and i'm sticking to it for the foreseeable future <laughs> kill or be killed issue four by ed Brubaker and sean phillips one of my favorite creative teams here and i love what they are doing with this um, deconstruction of vigilantism um, we are left to wonder if uh, this demon that Dylan, the main character, has encountered is a figment of his imagination or if it's, uh, if it's real. And um, we are being teased a lot uh, with imagery and uh, they put some imagery in here that leads me to believe that it's all in his head, but you never know. 
it might be just uh, uh, a misleading piece of art here <laughs> for us to think something but it's a totally different thing but yeah it's difficult to explain but I love this series so far and I'm definitely sticking to it until it ends sometime uh, but I really love it so far and I can't wait to get to read the fifth issue later in January I think so yeah waiting 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 for issue 5 uh, Reborn issue 2 by Mark Miller and Greg Capullo. Uh, the first issue was basically a tone setter, set the tone, introduced some characters, uh, wasn't really building the world, uh, but in this issue we get to see the world of Amiskira or something like that. Um, Adistria, Adistria. Um, and it's a really interesting uh, world where if you die in the old world here, like in this one, uh, you go there, but depending on how you lived your life in the previous world, uh, you either are reborn in the land of basically the good or in the dark lands. Um, and there is, uh, in the final pages here, we are introduced to the villain and his uh, henchmen. And one of the henchmen is basically Bonnie's old cat, and that cat holds a grudge. <laughs> well, it's safe to say he holds a grudge. Here we have Vigilante Southland, issue 2, by Gary Phillips and Elena Casagrande. I'm not sure what to say about this. Um, honestly, I couldn't remember the first issue when I picked this one up to read and that must mean that it wasn't that good and this isn't that good as well. The story basically is quite one-dimensional. Um, it's not that interesting, um, but the artwork is fine. Artwork work is actually good, and it's just the character is not that interesting to read, and the story makes these um, weird jumps in places, so you're left to wonder if you skip the page or not. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm sticking to uh, the entire miniseries or if I'm dropping it. Uh, but if I have to drop, if I drop it now, I still have to pick up two more issues, and yeah, I'll probably just read the whole thing uh, till the end. But I can't recommend you to pick this up. I'm sad to say, but it held such promise when I read the premise, and the artwork looked fine, uh, but the execution of the story is just not that good, not that good at all, at all. Uh, hopefully it might turn around and get better, but I'm not holding out hope for that <laughs> right now. Um, here's the first issue of uh, Mother Panic, a new series from this uh, Vertigo imprint from DC, uh, the DC Young Animal. Um, it's written by Jody Hauser and uh, Tom Lee Edwards. Um, we follow this uh, young woman named Violet and she is basically an heiress and to be honest the artwork is hit and miss uh, but and the characters I know we are supposed to like her but she's written in such a way that it's really difficult to like her um, and uh, I know they show us this flashback scene for us to attach to the character and feel sorry for her somewhat or understand the reason she is doing this thing she is do she's doing, but that basically falls flat to me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to this for a few more issues to see where they're going because I have no idea where they are going with this story so far. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully it will pick up 
in the second or third issue, but uh, if it doesn't, I'm just gonna drop it. Uh, so that's my final thoughts on this one. <laughs> Here though, Frostbite uh, issue 3 out of 6. This one is really kicking into gear here. Uh, in this frozen wasteland we have these gangs roaming uh, the wasteland hunting for Keaton and her crew with Victoria or Vic as uh, they have someone called Boss Burns have put a price on their heads when they left LA and uh, in this issue I get some uh, Mad Max uh, vibes throughout and I really really like this one uh, this issue really kicks the story and kicks the series up a notch in my book so I really am intrigued to see where this is uh, ending up uh, in the uh, at the end and I want more of it hopefully it's gonna be uh, there's gonna be another Frostbite series uh, when this concludes and you never know uh, so far I like this a lot The Black Monday Murders issue 4 by Jonathan Hickman and Tom Coker uh, it's a really good series so far uh, there's a lot of things going on uh, a lot of characters to follow and um, it centers around the Rothschilds and some different banking cartels imagine this this world with occultism uh, where these banking cartels are basically old schools of magic that uh, secretly run the world <laughs> um, and there's uh, Russian oligarchs that are that are vampires basically or uh, and there's demons and worshipping and murders and ritual sacrifices and stuff uh, there's so much going on so it's difficult to uh, pinpoint or let you know about the story without spoiling it too much but I so far it's a really good read and I can't wait to see where they are going with this series and where Hickman are taking us the third issue of uh, Seven to Eternity by Rick Remender and Jerome Pena. It's a really good one. Uh, it takes off right where issue two left off with these um, Mossack Knights storming the, sh the throne room where the Mud King is giving Adam Osiris, our main protagonist, uh, his offer. And there's this... Uh, huge battle going on in this throne room and yeah it's just phenomenal to look at great storytelling and I can't wait to see where we are going with the series uh, after this so it's a definite buy for me uh, for the future as well so yeah if you haven't picked it up pick it up in trade and pick it up in single issues after that uh, it's a fantastic series so far and I really really like it <laughs> So that's it uh, Those are the single issues I picked up in November and if you have any questions about these if you want me to review one of them uh, Let you know more about them. Just leave me a comment down below uh, if you have any suggestions for other series to pick up uh, If you have picked up any of these up Please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, until later uh, bye bye, see you soon.